Hello, my name is Deborah Major, your host for today's presentation, Banner Ad Supply Chain Roles Involved. Let's look at some of the key players or the key roles of banner advertising. You have the advertiser, the ad network, the publisher, and the media agency. But let's first define what is display advertisement. Well, display advertisement is graphical advertising on the World Wide Web that appears next to content on web pages. They use hyperlinks or simple HTML code. They are embedded into web pages. They are displayed by an ad server. And also, the purpose is to drive traffic to web pages. One company that does this is the, or defines, or lays out uh, regulations for, is the Interactive Advertising Bureau, or also known as the IAB. They're comprised of more than 500 leading media and technology companies that are responsible for selling 86% of online advertising in the United States. They were founded in 1996, and the IAB is headquartered in New York City with a uh, public policy office that's also located in Washington, D.C. And the IAB banner ad has created several different for ad formats. Text, static image, animated image, digital video, overlay, pop-up banners, in banner video, billboard banners, rollovers, between the page, button two, and what's called expandable. Now, I'm sure you've gone over to one of your favorite websites and saw at the top of their page or on the right of their page what are called, um, these are examples of banner ads or what's called display ads and those banner ads or display ads come in several different sizes the uh, the most uh, the, the ones that are most used are called leaderboards wide scrapers medium rectangles and rectangles as you can see in the uh, display and of those key roles, we're going to identify. We're going to identify the advertiser, as you can see with the big A on the chest of advertiser. And the advertiser is also known as the retailer, is a website or a company that sells a product, service online, accepts payment and fulfills orders, and an advertiser works with the publisher, that the pu publisher to promote their products and services in the exchange for commission on lead sales through a variety of methods. Now the publisher, as you can see, the publisher goes through the network to get to the advertiser. Well, the publisher, also known as an affiliate or a reseller, is an independent party that promotes products and services of an advertiser in exchange for a commission or leads or sales. A publisher displays ads, which are text links or product links on its website and email campaigns or in search listings and is paid a commission by the respective advertiser when a visitor takes a specific action such as filling out a form or making a purchase or subscribing to a service. Now the exchange. Once they come through that network they go through what's called the ad exchange and that's a technology platform that facilitates the bidding and buying and selling of online media advertising inventory from multiple ad networks. The approach is technology driven as opposed to historical approach of negotiating prices on media inventory. This represents a field beyond the ad networks and, and, and this is also defined by the IAB. Now traditionally the media agency they are they're strategically they strategically planned where and and when your advertising and marketing message should appear the agency ideally helps you buy the space and put your message on it 
Today's media agencies have, have evolved beyond that definition and morphed into communication agencies, meaning they do not they do a lot more than just tell you where to put your message or when to put it today because consumers have changed the way marketers plan their strategies and have adapted so many new channels mostly due to the advance in digital agencies have to have multiple efficiencies including strategic planning buying clout social media muscle and content development development with mobile media versatility and more now, with that, using services like Google Analytics that let you measure your advertising uh, ROI or return on investment, as well as track your flash video and social networking sites and applications, we can, we can now see what our banner impression is. And, and what is in a banner impression? Well, it measures the number of times the banner is displayed, either on a web page or in a separate browser window as a pop-up or a pop-under advertisement. Thus, the 1,000 impression means that the banner has been displayed 1,000 times. And with the, the analytics, you're able to track, as you can see in this, this example, where um, you can see where your traffic is coming from by your traffic source overview, where it has direct traffic, or whether or not it's coming from a referring site, or whether or not it's coming from a search engine. And some of those, you're able to look at the content, what pages they were hit. You can look at the page views. You can even look at the map overlay to be able to see what what country they came from or even what state they came from or what location in the United States and you're able to see the number on the average time that a visitor was on your site or whether or not they're coming or whether or not they're a new visitor those are some of the uh, ways to look at your impressions the analytics of it and also to track in conclusion these are the tools that we want the in this is what it's all about it's about the end user who benefits from the supply and the demand and getting the message about your product and services out to your audience you want to be able to control your campaign management where your referring websites are coming in, the customer's transaction, your web logs, and also the social media. You want to make sure which social media sites are driving the most visitors to your site. You want to also look at, from those banners, which pages are the best converters you know, from the browser to buyers. And from your banner, you want to make sure that those campaigns are driving the repeat purchases. And also, you want to make sure what are your top referring web pages. You want to make sure where are those banners, what, what are your top uh, affiliates. And once you have that and you have strategically have all those who are the role players from the publishers, the advertisers, to the network, and also to the exchanges, that's what makes a successful banner advertisement.